<clears throat> All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I wanted to spend some time today talking about this Ocula RDA. Kent, Twisted Messes, releasing a new RDA, and it's called the Oculus, or the Ocula. Sorry, Oculus is a horror movie about a mirror. This is the Ocula RDA, and like I said, I've been using it for a few weeks now. It's actually in pretty dire need of a complete teardown, rebuild, rewick. So what I'm gonna do right now is we're just gonna pop down to the desk. We're just gonna do a little build lapse. So most important question first, right? How does it vape? I I'm happy to report that the Ocula RDA it is a spectacular vape, spectacular vape. If there's one thing that I do know about Kent is he designs RDAs to vape the way that he likes to vape. So this RDA has the ability with those giant post holes, I mean, gigantic post holes that open with the screw. When you unscrew the screw, those clamps just open wide and they are wide. This will house literally any build you could possibly throw at it. I might have wasted some of the space in there with these little two and a half millimeter Turk aliens. I mean, they are vaping spectacularly, but this Ocula can house a, a lot, a lot of different builds and I actually feel like it would benefit pretty greatly from a bigger build in it, like a three millimeter, three and a half millimeter. Hell, you could probably fit four millimeter coils in here and still have a rad, rad vape. Airflow, Ken likes Ken, Kent. Kent likes airflow. He likes a lot of airflow. He likes hot builds and a lot of airflow. So it doesn't surprise me that you could literally build anything you want in here. And it is gonna have a lot of airflow. The airflow, Dude, the airflow full open, let me readjust it to full open. The airflow full open is just cloud chasing 9,000. That's, that's, that's all it is. It feels very, very open. Almost like if you want to experience the Ocula RDA airflow without actually owning one, just stand and go and just inhale. Cause that's kind of what it feels like. There's, there's almost no resistance on this full open. And it's just, there's just no way around it. It's just cloud chasey, cloud chasey. What I like to do is I turn the airflow about uh, about halfway. I turn it down to one and a half airflow slots open. There's a real simple AFC that fits in there. You can open and close up your airflow for dual coils. One of the fins is actually a little bit wider so you can rock it as a single coil in there as well if you desire to. Awesome, a little bit more restricted of a lung hit. I like a little bit of resistance in there. Flavor on this is great. I mean, it's it's real good flavor. It's not leaps and bounds better than lots of other RDAs, but it certainly doesn't suffer from a lack of flavor. I'm voping, um, voping? Yeah. <laughs> I'm vaping Poet Sweet Black Tea in this. It's a liquid I have, I have vaped gallons of, probably. I mean, probably. I'm very familiar with the flavor profile and it, and it tastes 
fantastic in this RDA. In fact, I'm gonna switch out this orange drip tip for a checkerboard drip tip because I think on this white Augvape V200, that just, that just looks super cool. The RDA itself has real nice construction to it, real deep juice well in there. Like I said, huge post holes, humongous post holes. There are two tabs on the side of the deck that are kind of gonna interlock with the outer barrel, but what Kent did that I really very much appreciate is he made the he made it so that you can still move around those those little tabs in there. They have a hard stop on both sides, but you have a little bit of a range. And I wanna explain why I think that's important and why it's important to me, because I like to close down my airflow. So if you just set these three holes right in front of your coil and you close down the airflow, well suddenly only this little side of the airflow is gonna be hitting your coil, which is still spanning this big distance. But by Kent allowing this barrel to also rotate a little bit, you can close down the airflow and then you can reposition your airflow and have the closed down portion kind of hitting directly at the center of your coils. You can just control the airflow a lot more, which I really appreciate. I want that airflow hitting the center of my coil rather than just the edge of my coil and, and the way Kent did this, it makes that possible. The stock drip tip that it comes with that, that I've lost i mean i probably lost that the first day i had it it's a very cool drip tip it's just a little like shorty little slam piece drip tip whatever you want to call it 810 it's got a silver band or a black band through it depending on which one you buy works great looks cool i just i i just lost it right away and so i've been using one of these dhd nub tips and the dhd nub tips my favorite dhd nub tips fit inside this ocula perfect flawlessly flawlessly just a, a really nice vape and the airflow itself even if it's full open even if it's closed down still nice and smooth not like not like profile recoil like gravy sandwich smooth but still still very smooth it's got a little bit of crispiness to it but for the most part it's a real smooth airflow so if we're going to talk about cons a little bit with the ocula rda it's going to be around the o-rings me and kent we have a thing we have a thing with o-rings and it's it's i don't know it's a thing with o-rings right i have a thing with kent's o-rings the o-rings on this are tight they're just tight there's no way around it the o-rings where the barrel snaps onto the base it's tight i have to lube them up like a crazy person and even then it takes quite a bit of force to get this top cap like like well seated down on there evenly. I just, it's its the O-rings. It's the O-rings, they're just tight. All of the other fit and finishes, I mean, as far as the deck and the screws and the O-rings on top and the AFC, all real, very nice. And the Ocula itself has like, just a little, like a hair of curvature to it. Not quite like, you know, recurve RDA or sonnet RDA, but it's got a, a little bit, it's got a little bit of curvature to it, which I think looks cool. It adds a little bit of uh, character, I guess, to the RDA. Damn, but it's just vaping, it's just vaping so rad. So let's get down to brass tacks. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Ocula RDA? Not really, surprisingly. Clicking around the internet, you can find it for about 40 bucks, which isn't necessarily cheap enough just to buy it, just to try it out, but it's not like an insane vape budget hands purchase. $40 for this RDA, I feel is pretty reasonable now. <sighs> Look, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they have come and taken everything I have, and I have nothing left to vape with, is the Ocula RDA something I'm gonna seek out and buy right away? Yeah, I mean, probably not. It, it, it is going to be on my radar because I love that deck so much. Those giant post holes, the big screws, it just makes installing coils real easy, real effortless. I, I think, honestly, that is the shining star of this RDA, and it just happens to vape really well with that really great deck. I, I just really like the deck. I like the deck. So, no, it's probably not going to be like the first thing I go out and buy as like my daily banger RDA, but 
it's a great RDA and I'm really enjoying it and I, I kind of want that deck. It might not be like in my top five or maybe even really in like in my top 10, but it would certainly be enough on my radar because I know how well it vapes, because it's so easy to build with that freaking deck. Uh, I think that's uh, I think that deck is just worth the price of admission. But anyway, that is, good lord, that is enough rambling from me. Links are not allowed in the description anymore, but Whoops, links are not allowed in the description anymore, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, that's what I meant to say, but thank you guys, seriously, so much for watching, and as always, no matter what's in your hand, let's just keep on vaping.